hi everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to another tutorial in this video we are going to crochet this cute mushroom bag So let's get into the tutorial so you're going to start with a magic ring and for your round one you're going to work 12 double crochet in your magic ring so you start by chaining three you already have one chain here so you add two chain your chain three does not count as a double crochet so work 12 double crochet When you work 12 double crochet, you're going to pull your tail and tighten your ring. Then you work a slip stitch on top of your chain 3. To begin your round 2, chain 3. And work 1 double crochet in your chain 3 space. and two double crochet in the next stitch two double crochet so for round two you are working two double crochet in each stitch So you follow this pattern to the end to end your round two you work a slip stitch on top of your chain three but before you continue you yarn in your tail You work a slip stitch on your chain three to end your round two and to begin your round three chain three and work one double crochet in your chain three space and two double crochet in the next stitch and for your round three you work one one double crochet increase you work one double crochet increase increase is two double crochet in one stitch one double crochet and increase you follow this pattern to the end 
to end your round three slip stitch on top of your chain three to begin your round four chain three and work a double crochet in your chain three space next you walk two double crochet and now for your round four you're working two double crochet increase one double crochet two double crochet and increase one double crochet two double crochet and then you work an increase to end your round four you work a slip stitch on top of your chain three and to begin your round five chain three you work one double crochet in your chain three space and your next stitch two double crochet and now for your round four you're working three double crochet increase one two three then you work an increase one double crochet two double crochet three double crochet and then you work an increase and you're going to repeat this pattern to the end when you get to the end of your round five work a slip stitch and to begin your round six chain three and work one double crochet in your chain three space and next stitch two double crochet and for your round six you are working four double crochet increase one two three four and now you work one increase Work a slip stitch to end your round six. To begin your round seven. To begin your round seven, chain three. And you work one double crochet in your chain three space. Two double crochet in your next stitch. Now you're going to work five double crochet and then one increase. One double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet, 
or double crochet then you work increase work one double crochet two double crochet one two three four sorry it's supposed to be five double crochet yeah working five double crochet and increase you have one two three four five now you work an increase and continue five double crochet one increase one double crochet two double crochet three double crochet four double crochet five double crochet and then you work one increase we continue five double crochet one increase so when you come to the end of your round seven you're going to end there for your base if you want it um larger you increase you increase the rounds if you want it smaller you're going to reduce sixteen centimeters so you have a total of seven rounds and to end you're going to pull your working yarn off and you come to on top of your chain three or your first stitch and pull your hook through the back and then pull your working yarn and chain three one two three and now you're working one double crochet in each stitch and you're using the back loop of your stitch work a double crochet When you get to the end, you're going to work a slip stitch on your chain three, one, two, three. You work a slip stitch. And now to begin your next round, that's your round two, chain three. And you're going to work a double crochet in your next stitch. And now you continue working one double crochet in each stitch one double crochet in each stitch so you are going to continue working one double crochet and you be your back and you work a total of 17 rows of double crochet when you work a total of 17 rows of double crochet this is how your work is going to look like and you and by working a slip stitch on your chain three and chain one and you're going to end with 
single crochet stitches work one single crochet one single crochet in each stitch when you're done making a uh, working single crochet round you're now going to work the cap part of the back so for the cap part you're going to work your cap part the same pattern you work the base of your back but you're going to work a total of nine rounds so you're going to start with the magic ring then you start with the magic ring You already have one chain add two more chains you have chain three and work 12 double crochet in your magic ring your chain three doesn't count as a stitch So when you work 12 double crochet you're going to pull and tighten your ring and you work a slip stitch on top of your chain three now you're going to follow the pattern of your base so if you follow the pattern of your base and work a total of nine rounds this is how your work is going to look like And for this nine rounds, you have to, uh, you, it's going to measure 18 centimeters. You end your round by working a slip stitch on your chain three. And now you're going to work two rounds of double crochet in one stitch. So you're working, uh, you chain three, one, two, three. And your next stitch, work one double crochet. One double crochet. One double crochet. So you're working one double crochet in each stitch. When you get to the end work a slip stitch on your on your chain three and you chain three and you work your second round of double crochet And to end, work a slip stitch on your chain three. And now you're going to chain one and work one single crochet. And one single crochet. And you work one single crochet round.
so when you're done working your single crochet around your cap part so your work is going to look like now we are going to work the strap that is going to go around this part so you take your yarn and you're going to leave a long tail and now you're going to work a slip stitch and you're going to take this part and put around your hook and take this other part and work single crochet So you keep repeating the pattern. So when you work the length that can go around your back, you're going to chain one, fasten your work, cut your yarn and fasten your work. And cut this other yarn, this other tail. Next, you're going to take your back, and now you're going to take the part that want you want to be your front part, and you take your strap, and you're going to pass it round. you send it behind and you're going to count six stitch one two three four five six you're going to bring it to the front from behind from the back and now you count six stitches one two three four five six and send it to the back And you count six stitches one two three four five six and now you're going to pass it to the front and you count six stitches one two three four five six and you're going to pass it to the back and you repeat the pattern until you come to your beginning point so we are almost at the end you're going to pass it the last one to the front one two three four five six and you're going to pass pass it to the front now i'm going to put this button i'm going to put the stripe through this button and then knot the head if you don't have this it's okay you can just knot knot your ends next you're going to add your back strap to the back so this is your front part you're going to add your back strap you add one side at the corner so you attach one side so i'm going to leave a link in the description box with a with a short tutorial on how to make this eye cut very easily and I've also added this mini granny square to the back. I'll also leave a link in the description box. So when you have put one side of your back strap, you're going to take your cap and you count three rows, one, two, three. You're going to put your back strap through.
and now we look at the next and put your back strap through the other side Now you're going to use your tail and attach it to the next corner. Next, you're going to add this white dots on your cap so for that you're going to need a white color yarn you make a magic ring and you chain one you already have one chain you chain one again you have two chain now work eight half double crochet one two three four five six seven Eight half double crochet you pull and tighten your ring and work a slip stitch on your first stitch you chain one you leave it two Now you're going to cut this other tail. You take your yarn needle and put your yarn to your yarn needle. And you're going to attach it to your back. Now when you get to the end, you're going to hide your tail. So this is how your back is going to turn now. 
and this is it for this tutorial thank you so much for watching if you found this video helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel thank you for subscribing and if you are already my existing subscriber thank you and i will see you in my next video bye